Hey, it's Michelle from Respiratory. Let's talk APRV. A quick note, I will be referring to it as APRV. However, on the Peard and Bennett ventilators, they do um, use bi-level, which are interchangeable. They're the same thing, but I'm going to be referring to it as APRV. So APRV stands for Airway Pressure Release Ventilation. APRV can be used in all types of patients, but it's commonly used in patients to help improve oxygenation. APRV is based on an open lung concept. So get the lung open and keep the lung open. APRV aims at improving oxygenation by increasing mean airway pressure through longer inspiratory times. The definition of APRV is an application of CPAP to maintain spontaneous breathing with an optimal FRC for an alveolar capillary gas exchange with the addition of an occasional pressure release to augment CO2 removal. APRV can be thought of as a mode that provides a high level of pressure-supported CPAP breaths that allows spontaneous breathing to occur. With the spontaneous breathing, it decreases the need for a paralytic. Spontaneous breathing also allows for better distribution of ventilation, improved VQ mismatching, decreased intrapulmonary shunting, improved oxygenation, and increased cardiac output. APRV is also a mode that uses reverse IE ratios. Because of the patient's ability to spontaneously breathe in APRV, it's not uncomfortable the way that inverse IE ratios are in pressure control ventilation, meaning they're not asynchronous with the vent, and again, they don't need a paralytic to be on this. APRV is also a mode that has short expiratory times or drop times. This sudden change in pressure allows the CO2 that's been built up in the lungs to rush out without the lungs completely deflating. Expiratory flow does not return back to baseline. Instead, you create an intentional auto peep. This prevents the repeated opening and collapsing of the alveoli. This reduces the shear trauma. Because of that air trapping, we allow for permissive hypercapnia to occur. Stay tuned for part two.